Yeah, I'm ready whenever. All right, Tommy's tutorials. I get a couple questions with this and it's super simple. So how to create or like what to put in the Google Drive when you're trying to onboard a new creator and get all the content or receive their content that they're creating. Super simple, don't overcomplicate it. So we've got Google Drive. All I've done is press new and new folder. So now it's a blank folder. What I do is I create another folder and we call it old, whoops, old content. Another folder, whoops. We've got reels, uploads. Reddit upload, obviously it depends what marketing strategies you're doing, but I just separate them all. Customs. We've then got scripts. And OF homepage. Cool, that's it. Within old content, obviously it depends if your creator's got any old content, but the ones I work with now do have quite a lot. So it depends what content they've got. If they've got reels, then I just go old reels. And then if, I'm, if it's just broad, I'll go uh, not safe for work marketing, because obviously all the scripts and stuff will be on the OF already. So we just want the marketing content that is not on the OF. That is it, that is all I do. And then I go back to this one and I share it with someone, whoops, I'll blur that out. But all you can do is you can just share the drive, ask the creator what her email is and give her access to the drive. That is it. While they're making content, so if it's a, re if it's a Reels upload, I always ask them to upload it in a folder with the date, so it's the 17th now. So they'll just upload it that, and then they'll upload like their 10 reels that they made that day. That way I can quickly go and see the new content. Once I've spoofed it or used it or done whatever I need to do with it, I move it into the folder, a used folder like that. So whenever I've used it, I just move it into used. And that is it, nice and simple.